What's up, losers? It's your boy, Kane Hazelton, also known as the Young Ivan Ooze, and today we are playing a very funky video game. We are playing a video game recommended by my father himself. He said it's uh, gonna hurt your brain. Welcome to Subliminal. All right, here we go. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent pending Somnusculpt technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Somnusculpt will make your dreams come true. Okay. You walk with WASD and you move with the mouse. With that being said, we're in a room. Terms of service. I signed it. And just like that, we're in the game. Perception is reality. Grab. Wait. What if I... Oh. Space to jump. Alright. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. Alright. So, we're dreaming. Well, now what? Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. Oh, okay. Hold right click to rotate. Piece of cheese. Well, maybe we need to build a giant ramp. Oh, don't kill yourself. Wow. Stunt jump this. Huh! Oh! During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Okay. Um. Oh. Warning, you have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Whoa. Please return to the orientation pathway. That wasn't me, but... I think I have to set my block here. Oh no! Oh. Nice. I take the sign, this is ridiculous. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Jeez. Jeez, Grummet. Jeez. Oh, God, no! That
that made me feel weird. Hmm. Morning. So far this game is weird, okay? Very weird. Push bar to open. That's exactly what I meant to do. This doesn't look like a real door. Looks like one of those dream doors. What? That was cool. Oh, that was a dream door, though. That was so nutty! Surprised that kind of worked. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry, we're working on it. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm at either. I feel like I'm in like an expo hall, maybe like a hotel. Based off from the projectors and the, what the, That was nutty. I don't trust anything anymore. We found the exit, don't worry. Okay, now you should worry. Whenever the music just stops like that, I kind of don't even want to play these. It's eerie. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but please keep moving forward and hopefully, you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Go. What is this go- what? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. What? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, Please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. I just grab those. Oh, look at that. Elevators. That's spooky. Might as well. I'll bring this with me. I'm also gonna bring the light. I like that. Professional tip. The average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. My brain is melting. What do you think this one will do? Floor 
more three, please. Okay. No more. Same stuff, different day. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Okay, kinda creepy. Let's just keep moving forward and try to get out of this dream. Because this dream might be turning into a nightmare. Uh, murder, 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 murder. Oh, beans. Sir. Ooh. Wait. There's a little bridge. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's more blood splatter though. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. I'm quite confused right now. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Thank you. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation. Blah, 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 protocol. blah, blah. Listen, I don't want to get killed in my dream. Does that mean I, ooh, idea. I like the thinking. Um, turned on the generator. Oh, it's just red paint. We're, we're good. They were just painting. We're good, dude. We're good. I wasn't even scared. Next. John Wall. John Wall. Really? I hate you. Stop it. Stop. Stop. All of you. Knock it off. Ho. Oh. Okay. That makes sense. Attention, Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Holy crap. Uh, 
Ah, there she goes. I, I don't know what I was thinking here. Just ignore that. Warning. Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Attention, Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Oh, what? Hello, name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt welcome ex- Okay. A thousand percent loaded. Let's go. Feel relaxed. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. I don't like that. Oh no. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. Nate? brain is just complete soup right now. I can't even explain it. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. Okay, hit me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Back.
Wow, so far this has been very weird. What is going on? Ugh. 3 a.m. Really? Emergency exit protocol initiated. Awesome. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10. Let's go. 9. 8. Error. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional Somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. Instruction. Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis, as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Okay. Oh no. What? Shh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. I think I'm lost. What the f Frick is going on here? Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Whoa! Whoa! Wow, 
What a puzzle. of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. What is going on? What? Use the sing carefully for the sound of an alarm, what? which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. I don't even know what to say while I play this. It's just... There's just so much going on. Wow. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Red soda, baby. Baking soda. Mini soda. Water soda. Whoa. Do this. Hello. What is going on now? What is going on here? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Ooh. And many years ago, I had a dream. I'm uh, very confused at this video game. How do I even edit this? This, this whole video makes no sense. My brain is soup.
Female toads? Minerals? I don't like it when I fall from things. Not an exit. Yeah, that is a box. That might be an exit. It was! What?! I'm starting to think like the game! I am tuned in! This is very confusing. It's very pretty though. This game is very aesthetically pleasing. Just walking through this, trying to get to the next door. Um, wait. What? Okay, yeah, well, we got there. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Why'd I flick it? Oh, goodness. Whoa. Ah, there it goes again. Wait, we're back in like a regular hallway. There we go. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Here we go. Big cheese. Huh! Nope. All right, redemption jump. <laughs> what the hell is this? Shit. Bro. Psh. What is all the sound? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But more often
often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. Wait. Boys and girls, oh look at this bounce house. Life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them. What is going on? Why am I feeling because inspired right now? Forward, I want to no go do some how greatness. Far the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you Red found paint. your way. Soda, please. In a few minutes, you'll be back in the real world. And some part of you will say that none of this was real. So, how could it have really meant anything? But, just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wake up. I need to go outside well thanks for watching if you like the video like it if you didn't like it why are you watching it my guy um maybe watch some more of my videos maybe recommend what we play next and I could be some Scan, you have to be one member, can't remember.